Elena, thank you. Joining us this morning is Caitlin, who is such an impressive young artist. And your story can really inspire other people. You're one of the winners of an international contest, which is really cool. You can see some of your work behind us. Tell us about this contest. Um, it's an international contest, and um, it's open to all illustrators who haven't been published yet. Okay. And um, all of the winners get sent to California, and we got a whole week long of workshops with professional illustrators. So it's a really great chance to improve ourselves and get out there. Congratulations. So have you done this week yet in California, or are you still going to go? Not yet. Not it's yet. At the beginning of April. Okay. So what are you looking forward to with the chance to grow your art? I'm looking forward to figuring out what it would be like to be a professional mm -hmm. and just learning so much about how to really tell a story with my art. And so we have some of your art up on screen right now. It's beautiful. You do such an amazing job. Tell us about the type of art that you do and what you choose to, to draw and create. Um, I really like drawing things from fantasy okay. and drawing from uh, fairy tales. I do that a lot. And I always draw digitally on my computer. Oh, very cool. See, that's, I have no idea how to do that. That's so cool. Okay, and so you're just in high school. How did you start this love for art in, on your computer digitally? Um, well, I started it on my Magnadoodle, which okay. is a, a toy I used to have that's magnetic. And I would yeah. draw with it all the time when I was really little. Okay. And like from then on, I kept on getting more like untraditional drawing materials, like. Mm -hmm. Um, my iPad and like a whole bunch of different things <laughs> and so eventually I got into being able to, to do Photoshop and that's okay. what I'm doing now. That's so impressive and what year are you in high school? I'm a senior. You're a senior, okay. So what do you hope to inspire in other people who maybe are interested in doing this but not quite sure how to get into it and just start, start your art? I'd say just go right into it and just don't worry about making anything too good in the beginning <laughs> and you'll just grow from there. I love how you started with the Magnadoodle too and then graduated <laughs> to stuff like that. That's amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Of course, we have all the details too about your story on our website. That's at 13onyourside.com.